All right, we are back in Mr. Lemon. Oh, hitting the road. Hitting the road. But we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we don't know, but guess what we do know? We asked you guys over on our community tab where we should go. The rules were anywhere six hours starting from Phoenix. We asked and you guys answered. I think there were there were so many, so some, many cool places. Some really like, good places that I'd never even heard of before. Yeah. So yeah. So we wrote excited. them all down. And yeah, we're gonna pick one of these to see where are we headed on this trip. But first, we need to get gas. Yep. We need to go to the grocery store. Yep. You changed the oil yesterday. Yep. Oil's so that, good. Oil's good Did to go. Did a little, you know, a little maintenance. Had to change the windshield wipers, you know, yeah. some of the routine stuff. Yep. To get Mr. Lemon good to go, because you guys know, Mr. Lemon doesn't have issues. No, not at all. No, no, no. Except for the VN Pro when we fired it up this morning, it wasn't working. And finally it just started working, but yeah, we're off to a great start. Let's go. Just driving, Bob. You don't even know where you're going right now. Nope, just um, uh, down a random road. Yep. So, okay. I wrote all the places that you guys, you know, uh, put on there. So we put them in a hat, and Bob is gonna pick someone right now. Okay. Okay. So, drum roll, drum roll, please. All right. And how about this one? Bisbee and Tombstone. Nice. Here we go. Are we even going in the right direction? Sort of. <laughs> okay. We're going towards the highway, so I guess kind of, but we are actually kind of driving in the wrong direction. Okay, yeah. We need to do some research so that yeah. we can actually figure out what should we do when we're there. Yeah. I've never, have either of us ever been to Bisbee? No. Never, never, been, to Bisbee. never been to Bisbee. So. We don't know where we're staying tonight. We don't know which one we're going to first. So let's go. Yeah. All right, I had to pull out my phone. I'm looking at the places people were talking about because actually quite a few of you said Bisbee. And so I'm like, okay. Uh, oh, one person said a few weeks ago we went to Bisbee and camped on the Juniper Flats Road. The view was amazing and spent time in Bisbee. You can check out the Copper Queen Hotel and tour the Copper Queen Underground Mine. That is always a cool thing to do down there. So that is an option. Oh, I would totally do a mine tour. Really? That would be amazing. Mount Lemon, just east of Tucson. We absolutely have to take Mr. Lemon to Mount Lemon. There was so many good ones that we're gonna come back to this list and go to more places. And if like you're watching this right now and you're like, wait, I have a great place for you. Go in our community tab and let us know where we should go. We are always up for good ideas. We have a new rattle in our van. If you can hear it. I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Just saying, it's driving me crazy. Is it? Yeah. Well, and I even, if you look, I opened uh, some of the cabinets thinking that was the rattle, but I don't think we found it. No. No, you did not find it. We need to go and take another look. Guys, the noise that you have to deal with in at least our van. I mean, if you have an RV, let us know. Do you guys deal with a lot of noise on the road? We deal with so much noise. Yeah, so, oh well, RV life. Well, we just drove through Tombstone, Arizona, and we're on our way to Bisbee. We haven't decided if we're gonna come back here tonight and stay in Tombstone or stay the night in Bisbee. So stay tuned for that because we don't even know at this point. So we've actually never been on this road before and there is legitimately nothing around. <laughs> like just kind of rolling desert hills with some scrub on it. And this is empty out here. It's nuts. I've never seen this before. Hey, 
we made it to Bisbee, Arizona. Ah, we're here. It looks so cute already. We are gonna go have lunch first at Bisbee's table. I looked online to see like the best place to eat and that was one of the top ones. So we're gonna go try and get in there right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little chilly and I did not bring a coat. Windy. It's windy, it's in the 50s today. So here's the thing, because we didn't know we were coming to Bisbee today, once we, we parked, we looked up, I think it's Queen Copper Mine. We looked it up and there's no availability today. The mine is not happening today, but good news, there was an opening tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we are gonna do the mine, but it's gonna be tomorrow. And so today, we just have to find things to do here in Bisbee. The pizza is excellent here. Yeah. Great choice. Okay, so apparently Bisbee is known for their stairs. <laughs> yes, every October they have the Bisbee 1000, so you can climb a thousand stairs and it's a race. I wonder why, for what, what's the purpose? <laughs> I don't know, but there certainly is a lot of stairs. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. I thought I was in shape. I'm not. <laughs> Warm. Okay, that was a really long walk to the courthouse that Bob just took us on. <laughs> it's very pretty. I think that's Art Deco from like 40s maybe? 20s? 20s. Might have been the 20s. We got the goods. I got a chocolate crispy rice crispy treat and a huge cookie. So I've been doing a little research and found that Bisbee was founded in the late 19th century and it was originally a mining town in the Mule Mountains and they found rich deposits of copper. And at one point it was one of the most productive copper mines in the entire world. That's it, incredible. It's pretty crazy. And the, but the architecture is pretty impressive around here. And I know lots of people come here to study it, look into it. And I don't know, with the mountains and all the stairs that they have, it's pretty cool. What's in here? Is that like nuts in there? I don't know. I have no idea. I just asked for a chocolate rice crispy treat. I know what this is because you couldn't wait. What? You took a nibble off the corner. I tried to take a nibble off the corner. Oh, this is, I think, a brown sugar sugar cookie? Brown butter, maybe? Brown butter. Brown butter sugar cookie. Yeah. It's so good. Bob, you should have a piece. I can. I'm filming. Good choice? Tasty. The salt makes a huge difference. Mm. It's really good. Mm-hmm. So I think this is an ore cart, like a hand pushed ore cart. Well, this is copper. I know this one. <laughs> this is not copper. Pyrite. Silver? Wow. Mom, you're like not doing very well. Copper? Yeah. I hey, I got one right. Silver. This is incredible. Did you know all these facts? 
I definitely did not know. I had no idea that copper was in so many different things. They're saying that a new single family home of 2,100 square feet has over 439 pounds of copper in it. Which I'm wondering, is that now? You know what I'm saying? Or is that back in the day? Well, I don't know when that would be, but I mean, they list off everything in here, like your dishwashers, your refrigerators, your dryer, your garbage disposal. I also saw that uh, Bisbee had a unique tradition that when kids graduated from high school, they got a copper diploma from 1932 to 1954. They were doing that. Isn't that so cool? Okay, we found the Bisbee turquoise little section. It looks like it was found during work on the lavender pit in 1951, which we're gonna go check out the lavender pit after this. Another fun fact is that Bisbee's mineral wealth helped Arizona win statehood. Hey, how's it going? Good to hear. Wait, I think you listen here. Do you listen on this side or you talk and then listen? I don't know. This is how they used to keep track of how many people they had in the mine. So at the beginning and end of each of your shift, at the beginning you put it on, at the end you take it off. That way they knew if you were down there. You know what that was called? Uh, brassing in. Well, brassing in, okay. Awesome. This is actually a really cool picture. We're standing so we just learned amazing facts about Bisbee in there. It's their historical museum. But if you remember, we're actually gonna go see the mine tomorrow. So there'll be lots more fun facts and actually like getting to go in the mine, even though I'm claustrophobic. So anyways, that was cool. I learned a lot. Bob, did you learn a lot? I sure did. So. I wish I could drive straight over the curb. It's, we need to go right here to the right, but I have to like drive around this parking lot and back up. It's kind of annoying. Oh yes, rules. You know what? We just need a van that's can handle off-road. Oh, I might, no. I might know of one. No, work. no. Like insert image in cloud of my dream van. <laughs> okay. We are off to Lavender Pit. And then a grocery store. Oh, hey, let's put Lavender Pit in the maps. feet wide and 5,000 feet long, 850 feet deep. Interesting enough, this lavender pit was not named Lavender Pit after the color. It's actually in honor of Harrison M. Lavender. Okay, Lavender Pit is pretty dang cool. It's beautiful, but it's so freaking windy outside. I hope you enjoyed that drone shot. Was that hard to get, Bob? Well, it wasn't hard to get, but boy, it was gobbling up the battery because the wind was blowing so hard. Okay, so the real question is, do we have a plan? And by we, I mean Mr. Bob. What's our plan, Bob? We are going to find a place to boondock, and then we're going to take a nap, and then we're going to make dinner. That is not... We're going to go to bed. Okay, no, 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 no. That is not the plan that I was talking about. The plan of where are we boondocking? What's that plan? Oh, we're just going to follow Google Maps. Last time we did this, we 
led us down like a really sketchy dirt road that I couldn't actually get up and we had to turn around and it was crazy dark and super steep and dangerous. So we're gonna try it a little earlier today. taking us, Bob? I really don't know. We shall find out. No. 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 What? No. Oh, no. Not again. We are going up the mountain again. Remember the last time we slid down? Did they say vans can go this way and RVs? Yeah. Dang it. I am not a fan. Oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. What do you mean? What if it gets higher? How high did they say? It's Hillary. Oh my gosh. What if we start slipping again? We will not. It's fine. This is just like, been up roads like this before. Yeah, do you remember that? That was not a good day. We're almost there. by four only. Done. We made it. We're safe. We didn't die. Okay, after all of that, I think we're going back to the first spot. I don't even think we showed him the first spot. No, we really didn't. We kind of just drove by and looked at it, and it was like, yeah, we could stay here. And then we drove up this ridiculous dirt path to park up here for no reason. And it's not level at all. Like, it's terrible. And so... And then you I'm don't like how fan. close the house is. There is, a, like, a house that's right over here, and there's, like... There are more places to stay farther up the road, Heck but it's no. even steeper. No, they I even can't. They said that online. They're like, a ridiculous steep hill. That We just went up a ridiculous steep hill. Right. But I would rather go back down, be where it's level, and then and then after we make dinner, either tonight or tomorrow morning, we could do a hike. So I kind of like that idea better. Yeah. Well, let's show them what this looks like. Let's do it. And then... Our mess from the grocery store. Make the death-defying drive back down the hill. It is pretty windy up here, which isn't bad, but it's like Bob said, there's no getting it really level. And that house is really close, so I don't know. It doesn't feel like we want to do it. <sighs> but here's the view. Abort, abort, abort. That's what we're doing. We're aborting. <laughs> Now we get to go drive back down that hill, which was so scary. I think it's gonna be scarier going down than it is up. Okay. Are you ready for this? Question is, are you? No, I'm not actually. Yeah, look at that steep hill. Yeah, that, that's a hill. Yeah. It doesn't look steep on the camera. The camera flattens it out.
I will say, if I had the guts to drive this, Bob could have flown the drone and shown you it. But heck no, I'm not driving this. All the sketchy places that we have been and driven, this is not the worst. I would rank it in the top five. But this is why you find your boondocking spot at around three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Not at eight o'clock at night. Right. Because you have time to go, you know, this wasn't a good idea. But had it been eight o'clock at night, oh, we would have been staying there for 100%. Yeah, we would have had to. We couldn't make it down this hill in the dark. Especially with the crappy ProMaster headlights, which is another reason why we should upgrade that. <laughs> slow, slow. So my app is telling me that the front is 20 inches lower than the back. I just- Well, it was. It was. Oh, here we go. We're at 20 again. I mean, is that steep? Yes, that is very steep. Think of those leveling blocks. That's like this tall. Right. We could do it. No. I think it's fine. What do you think? I think we're great. Yeah. So this is where we decided to stay for the night. Are we above anything? Yeah. Here, we can go hike down this bear trail. Yeah. Uh, on I Overlander back in September, they spotted a black bear on this trail. So I don't know if I'll be hiking it, truthfully. I'm claustrophobic, scared of heights, and scared of bears. He already took me up a mountain. He's taking me in a mine tomorrow. I don't want to see a bear. Well, this isn't that bad though, huh? No. What you doing, Hillary? I'm just relaxing. It's probably a terrible angle. It's a little after 5 p.m. We've just been literally laying here, relaxing, enjoying doing nothing. Bob, you just got up wanting dinner. <laughs> what just happened? Are you having technical difficulties? I am having some difficulty. I just was trying to raise this up so I could use it as a counter to cut our lettuce for our salad. You want me to cut the lettuce? No. <laughs> you want me to cook the chicken? No. You want me to cut the cheese? No. Why? So that's why Bob cooks. <laughs> I offer, he would rather do it himself. So. I'll just sit here and keep filming. Van life is very tight. Congested. Congested. <sighs> There's pros and cons with having a van. The pros are you kind of can pull over most places, stop for the night. It's easier to drive in my opinion. I drive this van like a car. You know, so the convenience of the van life is nice. But what I will say, and what's probably Bob and I have been talking a lot about lately, is it's just, we're so big, we're over six feet tall, and this van is so small. And it's it's becoming more and more of an issue lately. So here's my question for you. Do you have an RV? And if you do, do you have a class B like us? Do you have a class B plus, which let's just be honest, it's a small C or a C, a class C, or do you have a class A? Do you have a trailer truck? Do you have, what, what else is out there? Anyways, there's lots of options out there. 
We have been in a van for three years and yeah, you guys know we go to lots of RV shows and we usually still only look, only look at vans, class B's or class B plus C's. And so I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking, should we be looking at like a trailer truck, a B plus? I don't know. These are questions that we have, but really we're not doing anything with just yet. It smells good, Bob. Pan seared chicken. Look at those flips, Bob. Look at that. Look at that flip. <laughs> All right. Let's go. What I would recommend, put a little dressing on there, get it all mixed up, sprinkle a little cheese, sprinkle a little chicken, call it good. Let's go. Sprinkle a little cheese. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, you know, we got 36 woods to have to stop, but if you want to stay tonight, yeah. 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 Yeah.